Please, sir. Come and have a gander. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. Ha! <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Goodbye. Please, sir. Come and have a gander. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I come in? I already took my medication, Doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry. Your medication? Have we met before? Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry. What? I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, Doctor. You... you are a doctor, yes? you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. I found this watch. It was a gift from you to your boy, wasn't it? I think it should return to you now. Oh, I remember. Yes, I recall the day I offered Jack this watch. Oh, it was such a beautiful day. Thank you, sir. Trinkets and possessions help us remember our past. Promise me you'll not lose it. I would never lose anything that belonged to Jack. Why don't you take this? Dr. Tippett's? Please, for your charity. Is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. I would never say that to him, of course. Enid, have you really no idea what happened to your son? No idea at all? I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. Has something bad happened to him? Jack is dead, Miss Gillingham. Of course he's not. I've seen him. Tonight, in fact. Ever the Joker, Dr. Tippett. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss... Good evening. There's no need. Show me what you.
I know I've got something that'll strike you, fan. Find you something. Moving on. Thank <laughs> you. 
This poor man has just been slaughtered by a vampire. The body's still warm.
Beast!
Informing London's inhabitants of the presence of vampires. What does that make me? A double or a triple agent? This is no place for you. Come on, we go for the moon. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well, I'll leave you. Locked, all right.
Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Pat. It's locked. Why the long face, Doctor? It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you, yet you restrain. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. 
He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith, my will is far stronger than his. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. Hello, boy. Um, I... Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work, what with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. We're all truly alone in this world. You're lucky you learnt that early. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. So long, Rufus. <laughs> 